Hey everybody, Game Tazaguma coming to you guys with a brand new game. This one is one of a, I guess, kind of a trilogy if you include one of the other games that doesn't really fit into the same category. But anyways, let's go through the intro and I will show you guys what game it is. Yes, Spyro Season of Ice. This game, I've never actually fully beaten it. I've beaten Season of Flame, which in my personal opinion is a little easier than Season of Ice because the setup's a little better, but not much you can say. And these companies generally do the Game Boy Spyro games. At least recently. Still beating a new game. Hey, Spyro, I think I see a flying sheep saucer heading straight for us. Let's get out of here before it abducts us. That's not a flying sheep saucer, Hunter. It's just a balloon. Weirdo. Look, there's a note from Zoe. It says, Dear Spyro, I'm using every last trouble of my magic to send this message to you. Someone has cast a powerful spell over the fairy world, freezing all fairies and ice crystals, and we can't get out. Now the Red are back and collecting fairies one by one. I wish I knew what they were up to. Please come back before it's too late. This is terrible. We have to go help Zoe. And all the fairies. While you go see what's happening in the fairy world, I'll check the sorcerer's spell book for something that we can use to find out who's behind all this. You know, Bianca, I haven't seen you carrying the spell book in a few days. What do you mean? I never let it on my side. It's right in my bag. Oh no, my spell book. Where is it? I must have left it in the library when I was picking up that travel book for our Dragon Shores vacation. I've got to go find it. Bianca, while you find your spell book, Hunter, Sparks, and I will go find the fairies. Okay, see you soon. So yeah, we just dive right into the world. So, uh, R is to charge, L does nothing. Um, B is to flame, A is to jump. Press A plus A again, you can hover, and then press A at the end of your jump to do a little hover. And I meant glide, not hover, but earlier, if I said that, I'm not quite sure what I said. When I was ordering a meatball sub, I seriously said football sub. Don't know why. Well, I meant to say foot long with meatball and it came up football. It's a weird mistake, but still. Anyway, these are the fairies. Let's flame it. Hi there, Spiral. You'll never guess what I heard just before I got frozen in that crystal. The Rhinox are back. Those smelly Rhinox seem to be all over the fairy world. Um, we didn't know that because we clearly didn't get a message saying the Rhinox are back. It's no new news to me. And these are one-ups in here. We now we ugh, we now have six lives, and you can't really fall off a cliff in this game. So, flame all these to get a fairy. It's weird, but they added that mechanic into the spiral games. At uh, levels show up like this. That's lava prayer. We can already go to that level because I believe lava prayer is technically level one. I think. Really weird that a lava level would be number one. But it's their own decision. See, if you run off, you just do that. Gotta be a lot more careful though when you're later on in the market mesa. Uh, requires 12 fairies to open. It's not even that fun of a level. No offense to the game designers, but it's probably my least favorite level in this entire world. Spyro, I think I see something sparkly on that far hill. You have to glide across to get it. Press the A button to jump and then the A button again while you're in the air to glide. That's just a jump, that wasn't a glide. Okay, clearly past what we we're going after. Sure. There we go. Spyro, if you need to look far into the distance, hold down the L button and move the control pattern in the direction you want to see. So that's what the L button does in this game. It gives us a little more camera viewage. All these gems up here. I always miss some kind of gem in this level though. Finding gems in this game are a lot harder than the other Spyro games because the other ones are actually 3D. These ones are odd and like top down view. Okay. And they like to re talk when you get too close to them. They tell you exactly what they said before. Do you actually give me something? Oh, he literally just does that and then does the hover thing. And that oh, I guess that's where the fairy he was telling us was. Weird that there was another one right in the same vicinity, though. Like, right where we had to jump. Seems like too much of a coincidence. 
Okay, let's do this. And we didn't make it, darn it. Oh well. Let's collect all the goodies that are down here. Money bags is back. He'll require you to give him money to get his goodies, which generally are portals in this game, I believe. I don't believe there's like any passageways or doorways he opens other than portals. So that's good news. But I believe they're pretty expensive sometimes. Ah, lots of gems and another pumpkin. Or jack o' lantern. Not really a pumpkin. Well, it's a pumpkin to begin with, and there's Stone Age Speedway. Never actually been to that before, so I'm not quite sure how speedways work in this game, if they work like they did in previous Spyro installments. We'll check it out. I only really want to deal with you, money bags. At least not right now. I have to go get my fairy. Ah, oh, there's a gem down here. Another pumpkin. Lots of money just laying around all over the place. Oh, there's another fairy over here. Thank you, Spyro. I'm not sure what happened, but I was flying over to meet Gabriella, and suddenly I was frozen in that chili crystal. Hey, that's interesting to know. It's like just so many gems to go after, you don't know which way to go to get them all. Maybe this way first? Don't do that, Spyro. Come on, man. Okay, don't think there's anything. It's hard to tell like where like the actual ledge is. Oh, lots of money up here apparently. This is what, behind Lava Prairie? Wait, can I actually fly behind Lava Prairie? I think I can. Okay, let's try this. I know, okay, it's over there. We're not intended to fly over there, we just run over here ourselves. Now we have to go back here where Hunter originally was. Do that. Do that. And then do this. There we go. Good job, Sparrow. We've got a lot of fairies to rescue. Oh, okay. Don't worry about falling into the, in the fairy world, Spyro. If you fall in, in a fairy world, our magic will rescue you. That's very nice of you fairies. Can you shut up, Hunter? Just because I charged into you doesn't mean I want to talk to you. It was an accident that I ever charged into you in the first place. Ah, look a vase. Don't ever tell you how to break those or to do any other of your maneuvers, but sure. Oh, what's this guy I have to say now? Yo, Spyro, I have a feeling that charging is going to be coming here. Oh, okay, yeah, just the charge button. I already know how to charge. It's not like it's anything new. I already told you guys how to charge with the R button. There are a lot of gems up in this part. Hmm. I believe we, there's also still an area with Bianca. And I believe this is technically the other level we can go to. Yeah, Mermaid Coast. Not quite sure which one opens up for... Okay, that's back to this part. I believe we went down quite a ways down here. And here's another life. Oh, there's the pumpkin. We come all the way back over here. It was getting awfully frosty in that crystal. Thanks for saving me. And that's 5 out of 5 on the fairy meter. Yes. Oh, last one was way up here, apparently. Well, at least we've seen that red gem. I don't know how I missed that. Yeah, okay. Um... The charging spot, so we have to go back this way. I believe there's probably 300. Okay, there's that fair we got. Okay, I don't really want to fall down there every single time. I've yet to see the Bianca path, so it's down here somewhere, I believe. Spyro, can you stop falling into the fairy water, please? See, he does that automatically. It's like it swerves over there. Wait, nope. Here's some gems. Back around here. Nice. Okay, there's Bianca. The portal is broken, Spiral. You'll need to rescue more fairies so their magic can help with a spell to repair the portal. Yeah, and I believe that takes like almost all the fairies of the world to actually get in there. And there we go, all 300 gems. So anyways, in the next episode, we will probably go to Mermaid Coast. I will meet you guys at the portal for the next episode.